So hey Klaus. Um, Hi Ed. We're here at uh, NAM and uh, 2018. 2018. Year, Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Um, and you're at the Bitwig stand. Yes. And exactly. you've got this beautiful Surface Pro again. The you've what? got the yeah. beautiful touchscreen Surface yes. Pro. Yes. So um, we're going to be talking about Bitwig 2.3, right? Which yes. has just been released. No, it started better this week. So we're going to release it uh, in the February, okay. at the end of February, thereabouts. So. There's a lot of new features in it, a lot of things that people were wanting, like the time signature changes is a, a thing that many people were waiting for. We have new time stretching modes, we have the instelec instrument selector device that allows you to choose different instruments. And we have a new thing called Phase 4. But I will start showing you a few of these things. Let's start with the time stretching. Okay, excellent. Uh, like our I'll open here a drum loop that I've loaded. So let's, uh, if you hear the old time stretching algorithm that you had, we had, we had some problems with dual onsets and whatever. So we have two different modes. One of them is the slice mode, which cuts it up in small pieces and then plays it as a slice. You can hear that when I'm slowing down, that it's very good at keeping the transient. When it reaches the end of the material that it has, it needs to make a decision what do I do. In this case, it's using a granular mode, where it keeps repeating the same part. You also have a ping pong mode, where it starts like ping ponging back and forth. You can use this format parameter to control the length of that, that grain. And you can also say none, which basically just plays the grain until the end. You can say if it should be synchronized to a specific rate or to the onset in the file. But the material, different things work well. But uh, granular mode is also really cool because you can like, tweak the pitch and modify the format expression. So that one is really good for drops like, mostly, but also a lot of different materials. Another one, let's do a vocal sample now. It's gonna be a bit cheesy, I think. Oh yeah, I'm playing with it here. So it's a vocal sample here, yeah, yeah, something. If we do the cyclic mode, this is uh, inspired by some old, like, cream-colored samplers from the 80s and 90s, so. This is great repetition of that you can also use the format expression to control how big the grain is. And this uh, format expression, this is new for audio, we didn't have that before. We can use these two algorithms and the Elastic Pro algorithm. I will also show you that in a minute. But we can also automate this expression, so if you want to switch the format, let's do that in Elastic Pro. Here you can hear that I'm just switching it back to normal. Everything clean again. There we go. Playing with the tempo. Now if I play with the format, you can do this kind of... More like a male sample, but it's a very really cool effect. I can automate this. So I... And together with automating the pitch and all the possibilities, yeah, there, there's a lot of sound design possibilities with this. So it's really fun. Show the the instrument selector quickly. It's a simple device that allows you to just work similar to our instrument layers, and you can put any kind of the layers you want inside of it. But it's convenient to switch between different sounds on one track. So here I've mapped one button to just switch different sounds. So you can imagine that this is very useful, like in a live scenario, if you're just gonna prepare your gig. One, uh, which is the effect selector that you can also use for effects. 
you can then modulate that expression and do interesting things with it. And last, we have the Phase 4 synthesizer. So let's open it with the big view. So we call this a face manipulation synthesizer because it combines face distortion as used in the uh, CZ series from the Casio and uh, face modulation as you all know from the X7. So you can here cross modulate these, these uh, oscillators with each other as a self uh, feedback it, but you can now shape this result in different ways. We have a macro control over like the amount of modulation happening here. We have a nice filter going on afterwards as well. This is quite a high oversampling, so you get away with a lot of modulation or whatever. But a really good sound quality. And last but not least, I forgot to mention before, we have voice stacking. That basically means it's kind of like unison. You can detune the oscillators or whatever, like you have multiple copies of the same voice and do different things with it. But we use our modulation system to freely allow you to control different things. If I take two voices or three, I can either take this one, this expression here, and spread something the pan and the pitch. It becomes like a wider sound or I can just manually go here and control an individual voice. I want to say that this voice should go to the right and uh, less modulation uh, but be at a different pitch. really quickly make really fat sounds and they're still not relative to the other ones so if I change anything here both of them will change relative to what I'm doing. So, so um, with the stacking is that uh, this is, how, how is the uh, kind of uh, processing power is it does, is that quite hungry like when you start stacking up more than well yeah it's gonna one, multiply yeah. by the number that you stack so it's it should be used with caution of course. And the voice stacking is available in the polysynth and the sampler as well. So and that's so. yeah. So that's across all the yeah. uh, across all the Bitwig synths. Yeah, most of them. The, okay. the organ didn't get it, but uh, yeah, F the old FM4 as well. And we added these uh, big views to uh, so, the, so that if you have an EQ, you can also see the EQ in a, in a big view here. So we're really big and nice view to interact with. And then for the Spectrum and uh, FM4 and Polysyn as well. And there's also a new voice stacking modulator so you can uh, get even more control over the voice stacking if you want to. Uh, I mean, round about that, that's like the feature set, so it's the big new sun. New so, time um, stretching, time signature changes. So uh, when did you say uh, it was going to be uh, ready for release? End of February. End of February. Yeah. And uh, do we have a uh, price on that? So oh, there's no price ready. It's okay. uh, it's part of the normal regular yeah. upgrade. So it should okay. fall into the window of upgrades for everyone who has Vision Studio 2. Excellent. Well, uh, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you.